Okay, I just wanted to give you an idea of how it is that we're going to see what the volunteers have recorded in the commentary booth. And I'd like to point out that it's not just us in the commentary booth that we'll be able to see the positions from each game. Uh, anybody in the world will be able to go to a web browser and have a look at the positions and the scores uh, dynamically and also after the games as well. So we've got a position here um, in this match um, between these two players. Uh, and an important thing to note is that each match has this unique code. So uh, VI5, X2X, 6Y is the code for this match. Uh, we've got a situation where the blue is the striker ball. It's got the white circle around it. It's four hoop two, that's the clip position. Uh, the black ball is for two back. We're actually in the middle of, well, the start of a sextuple peel. So there's been a, a little bit of movement before this in this game. Uh, so there are some prior positions, but let's just suppose that um, what happens in a minute is that the blue goes through the hoop and and then sort of clonks the, the black down to, to here and and basically then comes back up towards the, the yellow. Uh, there would have certainly been better ways of, of doing that, I'm sure, that the experts would point out. Uh, but basically, this is now on hoop three. And this is a, a new position. So we're now going to save this position. And we're not going to give it any comment, any sort of comment at all. We're just going to submit it. OK, so that's what the volunteers are getting up to. Uh, they're doing their job. In the commentary booth, uh, what we're looking at is this interface here. And I'm just going to reload it. So it basically, it just go, means going to this website, uh, which I'll put in uh, the, the uh, description. Uh, we click Go, and as it pointed out on the, the main screen, we need to have our, our ID ready. So we're going to type in VI5 uh, X2X6Y. And when we press Load, we see all the positions that have been saved for this game. So the first position that was saved for this game was actually the cross wire uh, at the end of that little break to one back. And I'm just going to turn the grid lines off here so it's a bit clearer. So you can see this both in the 2D view uh, and you can move around using the, the camera to see it in 3D. So you can admire that beautiful Hoopron cross wire there and the beautiful depth of the tea lady shot that the red and yellow balls are faced with. And of course, the score at this stage is uh, one and one back is playing peg and four back. So the, the red and the yellow balls have made great progress. But uh, as we all know, as croquet players, the game ain't over uh, in that position. So uh, let's suppose that the red ball took a, a, a shot at that uh, blue and black ball over there. Uh, missed and so a couple of moves later we were in this position here uh, where the black ball had been uh, peeled through one back so it's now on two back and the red ball the, the blue ball is for hoop one and it's got this um, uh, well for a player of, of that standard it's not going to present any any trouble at all uh, and it's a, a nice beginning to the to the sextuple. The next position that the volunteer recorded was this one. It was one where the blue ball had been through hoop one, and and was now waiting to rush the black ball up to start um, blue making hoop two. And and then the next position they recorded was the one that we we left them with a minute ago where the blue ball is for hoop three, the black ball has been placed down by two back. And the really nice thing about this 
is that not only are we following this move by move progress, but in the commentary booth, we can zoom around, we can, we can basically take our camera and go and look at the positions of, of each of the balls and the, and the expert can comment on that. But the expert can also do more. The expert can actually move these balls around. So the expert can say, well, you know, this is all very well as a rush, but actually it would have been much better if it was like this or like this. And they can do that on this view as well. They can say, look, it would be much better if this red ball was down near the peg. Uh, so there's a lot of flexibility for the commentator to be able to talk to the expert and to have that sort of analysis done. Uh, we've also got the ability to draw some lines on on here, so we can we can have the uh, the commentator uh, and the expert sort of drawing trajectories from the the striker ball. Uh, I might make that a little bit more sophisticated um, before the Mac Rob. Um, and the bottom line is that every time the volunteer makes a change, so let's imagine that this this ball here well we'll, we'll imagine that uh, they've made this hoop and they've put the red ball down there they've taken off to over here they're now on hoop four so this is the new position this is the new save so we won't give any comment on that back in the in in the the web view if we click reload we've now got this fifth position which now looks like the one we, that we've just saved. So we've got this situation in front of two back. We've got the pioneer here over in four. Um, so what the user has to do is they they do have to continually hit reload to get the latest position. But of course, at the end of a game, there might be 20 or 30 different positions have been recorded and those can be played through and analysed by the team, by the experts. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of really interesting data for people to, to chew on, uh, both during and after a match.